has traveled 5,000 miles in search of glory. David Depto, nicknamed Double D, is a pharmaceutical salesman from San Francisco. He's here in Berlin to fight the local hero, riot policeman, anti-terror Frank. At stake is the world title. Seconds out and the contest begins with a game of chess. This is chess boxing, a sort of rocky with rooks. One round of chess and then one round of boxing. Punching power alternating with brain power. All in all, you have 11 rounds in which to checkmate your opponent or knock them out. It's hard to imagine two sports that are more different from one another. On the one hand, you've got the mental challenge of chess, and on the other, the physical world of boxing. And that's why, to become a chess boxing champion, you need to float like a butterfly and sting like, well, Bobby Fischer. Mind you, chess icons like Bobby Fischer never practiced as hard as these guys. With two disciplines to perfect, the world title challengers have endured months of grueling training to tone their minds as well as their muscles. When you combine chess and boxing, I think it's going to show people that, you know, fighters can be smart people or smart people can be tough. You can tell Germany likes this sport. At schools here, they're already preparing the next generation of chess boxing champions. My mum said I should learn boxing for self-defense, Alex says. I just love the way you can combine that now with chess. Back ringside, Double D is on the ropes. Exhausted but sensing victory, anti-terror Frank moves in for the kill. One final attack and it's all over. Which goes to show that when it comes to mixing brains and brawn, Germany is the Grand Master. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Berlin.